Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I missed you. I know it's only been a couple days, but I've missed you so much. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really, really appreciate it. I do so hope you will like and subscribe before you leave. Uh, become part of the mama family. You know, I almost got your back. Uh, as always, we're going to be doing something super bright, uh, super colorful, and so much fun. Uh, today is going to be look two uh, in my Birds of a Feather series. Today, I'm going to be uh, doing my take on a a mandarin duck, I believe is what it was. Uh, as always, you guys know I don't edit my videos, so there's no way I can show you a picture on this video of what a mandarin duck looks like. Uh, but on my Facebook page, Make It For The Everyday Mama, I will have finished pics along with the inspiration picture. So please click the link in the description box below and go check that out. Uh, it always gives you a better idea of, of kind of what I've done. And I always feel like the pictures just give you a better uh, a better look at the the eye look in general. We're going to be using super, super affordable products today. Always a plus, always a bonus. You guys know I don't mess with that expensive stuff. Uh, not very often anyway. Uh, we're going to be using the Box of Crayons palette today. So, so great. I love this palette. It's really, really beautiful. Again, we're going to ignore my nails because we're in the process of letting everything pop off uh, so they can start to get healthy again. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We just have a couple left. There's a few stragglers. Uh, they're being stubborn. But this, have you guys seen the inside of this palette? Because if you haven't, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's absolutely stunning. A really, really beautiful, like, primary, uh, like, full of primary colors. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. There's color in here for everybody, for sure. I, it's so, so pretty. Really easy formula to use. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are great. They blend super easy. This eye look, uh, oh, let me give you a good a good look at the eye look because kind of proud of this one today. Um, if you know what a mandarin duck looks like, I think I got my interpretation like really just like spot on. I'm so, so proud of it. Let me get a little closer. Kind of show you what we're working with today. I am so happy with it. I think it's so, so pretty. It is a very, very cold, uh, snowy day here in North Carolina. So I am in cozy clothes, uh, but I tried to kind of match just a little bit. Paired it with a, like a juicy red lip, and I'm, I'm really kind of uh, feeling it. We're just going to go ahead and jump into it. I used my new base. So this is the Handavian eyeshadow base. This is the white one. I got this in a set of three. There's a white, a pink, and a purple. I got them for $6.06 .06 off Amazon. They're fantastic. I used this as an eyeshadow primer today just because I really kind of wanted to play with it. Uh, not that I really needed it to like boost the colors or anything, but I will say I do think that the colors look a lot brighter and a lot bolder uh, with the white base on. So there's that. But so this was my eyeshadow primer today. I just went over that in my transition area uh, with this shade. Uh, this is from the Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit Psycho. Uh, it's from BH Cosmetics. I just used this white shade right here. Any white you have will work. I just kind of went over it just in the transition area just to kind of reinforce that white just a little bit. We are going to be doing some uh, fairly uh, precise work today because uh, I'm going to be doing like a little bit of like a cut crease situation. So this is not going to be a super, super chatty video. Uh, I know you guys love to hear me just drone on about life in general, uh, but this is more of like a like in-depth tutorial because it's a fairly technical look. So just sit back, relax. Uh, I hope you guys like have a snack, a cup of coffee, a web, whatever it is that you like to do while you watch my videos. And let's just like jump right into it, shall we? I'm going to go in with a fairly precise brush first. Uh, I'm going to use this Dew Color brush. This is, I, got, I know that I've spoken about this brush before, but I love it. Uh, this is the Dew Color. It's just a, like an angled, uh, fairly dense kind of brush. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to clean it off first because it's dirty. And I'm going to go into the green shade in this palette. And I'm really just going to be packing. I'm not going to be doing too much blending. There's not a whole lot of blending in this eye look, period. It's really just a lot of packing and kind of like fading. So I'm going to go into the green shade in this palette right here. And I'm going to start on the inner corner of my eye. 
Oh, should we put our hair back first? Probably. Let's uh, clip the mop back. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this side down. I love the edge. I love the way it kind of fades up. It kind of looks like a feather. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So again, taking our angled brush, dipping into the green. I'm going to start at my inner corner. And working with the natural contour of my eye, I'm just going to start packing this color on. And I'm going to go probably about halfway. Through my eyelid. But I really like this color. Because it's not like a super dark green. It's more of like an emerald. Softer green. So I don't have to be scared to use it on the inner corner of my eye. Um, and it's not going to make it look too dark, which is what, you know, if you put darker colors on the inner corners of your eyes, it, it tends to like make your eye look really small. But this color is really, really nice. It's kind of perfect for this application. And I'm just kind of patting and packing that on. We're not being super, super technical. Just like that. If you hear my baby in the background, he's in trouble. He tried to take mama's bones, so now he's in his cage. He is not being tortured. He is hes a very happy little puppy. He's just in trouble right now. Just like that. We want to make sure we keep this upper line nice and clean so we don't have to go back in later and clean that up. But the pigmentation on these shadows are so nice that I don't really have to like keep dip dipping in a ton of times. I'm really, really happy with that pigmentation. We're gonna go into the purple now. So there's a few different purples in here. So you have a, a you have a violet, which is a shimmery purple. You have a purple, which is, which is a matte purple. And then you have this one, which is a nice deep plum. We're gonna go into the, the like plain old matte purple. On the same brush, I just kind of wiped it off a little bit on my towel. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Slightly overlapping the green. I'm just going to start packing this on. And these uh, shadows are so easy to blend that it really doesn't take a lot. kind of work these colors into each other just kind of going back and forth using very gentle pressure I will say this purple is not my favorite purple ever it's not as uh, rich and opaque as I would prefer it to be but it still works it's still a lovely shadow Just not the absolute best I've ever used. Really making sure to keep that line nice and clean. I do like the way that all of these colors really work together. They really play well together, which is nice. We don't have to worry too much about our outer edge because we are gonna go back and clean that up later. I just want to make sure I wing it out pretty far. And then I can go back later and kind of trim it down if I need to. Just like that. And see how the two colors have kind of blended into each other? It was really just that easy. A lot of the blending is kind of already done for us. Oh my God, goodness. They look so, so bright. I'm so in love with it. And I'm just really working on building that color. Got a really nice, bright, rich purple. I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do uh, kind of like a cut crease situation. 
I am not going to be able to talk at all during this part of the procedure because I have to focus. I have to focus intently. Uh, it's not super, super difficult. We're going to go, we're going to take it pretty high. Um, so I don't have to worry about like smudging and stuff like that. And because we were really, uh, easy with our pigment we don't really have to go back in and clean up too awful much i'm gonna use my nyx can't stop won't stop concealer this is my favorite absolute favorite cut crease concealer it is so perfect for this application uh, mine is in the shade pale it's like almost white is it fair or pale pale it's like almost white and it works perfect for cut creases you don't need a ton of it either i just kind of take some and put it on the back of my hand and then i work off the back of my hand i'm gonna go in with my dew color concealer brush and just get some on the tip of my brush and then starting at my inner corner There he goes. Daddy must have let him out of the cage. Because daddy's a big old softy when it comes to his babies. And that's okay. I'm just kind of tapping the concealer on. And then I'll blend it out from there. It does kind of help. If I gently stretch out my eye, my eye skin, just because I have fairly, wrinkly eyelids. But I'm just kind of tapping the concealer into place. Trying to get a nice smooth line. And then after I've got my line done, I'll go back and blend the excess concealer down. Again, just kind of following the natural shape of my eye. This part does generally take a little bit of time. And the best tip I can give you is again, just little tiny amounts of concealer at a time. You can always go back and add more. But I find once you get a big gob of concealer on your eye, it's always almost impossible to go back in and kind of fix up your line. Just like that. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to go and kind of drag it down just a touch, just to make sure my concealer is nice and evened out. I'm not gonna bring it all over my eyelid because I don't need it there. Just like that. I'm gonna go in with a flat packing brush. Uh, this is my Dew Color 08. It is just a small kind of flat packing brush. And first we're gonna go in to this gold color right here. And I'm gonna be really, really liberal with this. And I'm gonna start packing this all over the concealer. Just kind of pressing it. Starting at the line just like I did with a concealer, really focusing most of the pigment right at that line where it meets the green. 
I want to make sure that I don't have any kind of uh, patchiness. I don't want any of that concealer showing through underneath the gold. I'm going to bring this all through the line of the concealer. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring it down to my crease. I'm not going to bring it down any further than my crease. And I'm going to make it sh make sure I get it all the way out to the very edge of my line. <coughs> I'm getting better. I'm still just a teeny tiny sick. A teeny tiny little bit sick. Um, but I am getting better slowly but surely. Just like that. And it's such a very, very pretty gold. But if you've ever seen a picture of a mandarin duck, uh, the gold on them it has more of like this orangey brassy undertone to it so I'm gonna go in to this really beautiful orange shimmer now so this one right here it looks very much like a it looks orange but it looks almost like a fiery copper and I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm just gonna dip into that orange now and I'm gonna start applying that very lightly over the gold there's something about the way these two colors mix that I thought was so super pretty. You get that really like blinding, it's, it's not blinding, but you get that really beautiful like pure gold from the gold shade. And then you just get that little bit of extra warmth and brassiness from uh, the orange shade. And the two work together so, so perfectly. And it really does look like the colors on the actual bird I'm trying to imitate. It just kind of worked out perfectly. And then you have spots where the gold shines through more than the orange and vice versa. That just really makes it look so multidimensional and so, so beautiful. I'm so in love uh, with the way that these two colors work together. So pretty. And I'm really just taking my time just like that. And there's our cut crease. Now, I know it looks really, really funky and kind of crazy at the moment, uh, but once uh, we get the lid done, it's going to all come together. And once we clean it up, it's going to be so, so stunning. I'm so excited for it. <clears throat> if I could just get rid of this cough, I'd be so, so happy. I'd be an extremely happy girl. I am going to wipe the rest of this concealer off, though, because I have the worst tendency to get it all over myself. I'll forget it's on the back of my hand, and then I'll look down, and it'll be, like, all over my shirt. Not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, we're going to go into our lid work now. Uh, for that, we're going to go back into that angled brush. Uh, this time, we're going to be using a dew color one, though. If I can find it, no, we'll just go back into the uh, BH Cosmetics one. I'm going to wipe off that purple pigment. And I'm going to dip into this black. So there is a matte black in the palette. I'm just going to dip into this very, very lightly and just kind of put this on my outer corner just for a little bit of depth. We're not going to go hard on this at all. I'm literally just going to tap it in a V-shape. Right onto my cor corner. I'm not going to make it super opaque either. I really just want a little bit of a shadow. There. Just to kind of deepen it up just a touch. Because we're going to go over this with a very, very deep dark blue. But this is going to sh uh, show up underneath the blue just enough. To give us, like I said, just that little hint of a shadow. And help our eyelid not to look quite so flat. I 
just like that. And then I'm going to go into a very, very kind of like stiff flat packing brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is from their Say It line. This is just a very, very stiff, very, very dense flat packing brush. And we're going to go into, so there's two different blues in this palette. There is a darker and a baby blue. We're going to use the darker shade. And getting a good amount on my brush, not too much though, I'm going to start kind of pressing this. onto my outer corner, making sure that I press it on in a pretty straight line. That's why we're using a precise brush like this, because we want a nice precise application. And like I said, we're gonna come back and we're gonna clean up the outer corner. So you really don't have to worry about this stuff out here. You just wanna really try to make sure that your lines are as straight as you can possibly make them. Is everybody staying warm? I feel like this weekend has been absolutely crazy. They canceled school yesterday, or they canceled school today. Today is Monday. So they canceled school today. They canceled it for tomorrow. They canceled work for my Mr. Hubby uh, yesterday and today. No, today, yeah, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So Mr. Hubby lost three days of work, which is not ideal. But I'm happy to have him home. I am going to stretch out my eyebrow or my eyelid just a little bit. And these shimmers are so pigmented, I'm literally doing a cut crease without any kind of, uh, like, concealer. And I'm just using the shimmer shade to do it. They're so pigmented and they are so, like, they stick so well. It's so, so easy to do. I'm just going to bring this blue about halfway through my eyelid. And then I'm going to go into the magenta shade and uh, finish off. I'm gonna clean off my brush because I'm gonna use this uh, same brush because I, again, want a nice precise application. This brush really picks up so much uh, shadow in the best way. I wanna clean off as much of that as I can though because I want the, uh, the red to be nice and bright and I don't want it to mix with the blue and create a purple. So I'm going to try to clean off as much of that blue pigment as I possibly can. And then we're going to go in to this really beautiful magenta sh shade. So this one right here, it's a shimmer as well. And we're just going to do the same thing. Really focusing most of the product on the tip of my brush. I'm going to try to put that on in as straight of a line as I can manage. And really just kind of spread it towards the blue. Now, the only shadow I've had any kind of fallout issues was with uh, was this red shade. And it just seems to be a tiny bit more crumbly than the other shades, which doesn't bother me. I always do my eyes before I do my base anyway, so that's not a big deal for me. Uh, but just to let you guys know that this red shade is just a teeny tiny little bit uh, crumbly. I'm going to stretch my eye one more time.
just like that. Now, there is a serious line of demarcation right there. So to battle that, uh, we're going to go into a flat packing brush, uh, very much the exact same one we used to put the gold on with. Uh, this is the Dew Color 11, so this is the 10, I believe. So this is, no, this is the 08. So this one is just a, a bit um, bigger and wider. Uh, this one is much smaller and not quite as dense. We're going to dip this into the magenta and we're just going to kind of fluff this all over the lid because all of our line work is done. And we're just going to try to marry the two colors together a little bit better. It's going to create a little bit of like a purple situation in the center of our lid, which I'm totally okay with. Because we are going to go back in to the red with our fingertip and pack just a little bit more on toward the inner corner of our lid. But look how beautifully and easily it blends out. It takes almost no effort. And you get that really beautiful like gradient. I think I'm going to go into that blue a little bit more. Kind of build that back up just a little bit. Just like that. And then Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. With my fingertip, with a clean finger, I'm going to go into the magenta shimmer. Just get a little bit of it on my fingertip. And kind of press that. Onto the inner portion of my eye. Again, I don't want to get it too high. I don't want to mess up all that line work I did. But when you press it on, it just makes it so much uh, brighter and more vivid. I think it's so, so pretty. We're going to do a little bit of cleanup now. Uh, like I said, I do have a little bit of that red fallout and my uh, lower lash line is a mess. Uh, so we're going to take a makeup wipe. And I'm going to start on my lower lash line. And just clean up that excess red pigment and any fallout we might have and then we are going to clean up this outer line I think this is like the most satisfying part of the entire eye look it just oh, it instantly comes together it instantly looks so much cleaner it is oh, it's so so nice so I'm just gonna do a straight line let's get my ooh. I'm making a mess, guys. Making a mess. I told you my vanity is not big enough. I don't have enough space. Uh, I'm just going to wrap it around my finger. And just like that. It is stunning. I am so in love with it. Oh, I just cannot, I cannot explain to you. There are no words. We're going to fo uh, focus on our lower lash line now. I'm going to take this. This is from the uh, Say It Collection by Dew Color. And I'm going to dip it back in to that shimmery blue color. Now, usually I would use a matte for this. Uh, but because I just kind of want a little bit of a continuation of this blue color here. I'm just going to start kind of bringing this through my eye a little bit. Not bringing it all the way through. And 
and kind of tapering it off towards the inner corner. Not bringing it too far down either. I want it to look nice and clean, just like that. Now our eye is kind of wrapped in that beautiful color. And everything looks so seamless and put together. I am so in love with it. Uh, if you take it down just a little bit further uh, than you would like, you can always go back in with your makeup remover and kind of clean up the lower lash edge as well. I will probably take just a little bit and just clean it up like that. And now it looks so much cleaner and like sharp and I'm so, so into it. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a liner. Uh, first of all, we're gonna use a black retractable liner and we're going to use this in our waterline both upper and lower this is the elf no budge a retractable liner in the shade black i ran out of my milani one so uh this is the next best thing this is actually a really really nice uh eyeliner Gonna low uh, line my upper. And lower water lines bring so much more drama. Uh, definitely are gonna need to uh, put some like brightening stuff here or else you're gonna look like I do right now and look like we got two uh, black eyes going on. It's also my lighting situation right now uh, with this dark look around uh, my eyes. It looks like I'm kind of like, um, but it's super cute in real life, I promise you. And then we're going to do a very, very slight line on the upper lash line. Uh, for that, I'm going to use this bad boy. So this is the AOA Studios, I believe. Uh, yeah, so this is the AOA Studios. I am so, so artiste uh, liquid liner, but this is in a really beautiful purple shade. Uh, these are a dollar and they are fantastic. They are so, so good. I'm just going to do a really, really thin line. Across my lash line for no other reason than to help my uh, eyelashes out just a little bit, help them look just a little thicker. Uh, but this is not necessary. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then for sure, go in with a really big, chunky layer of mascara. Definitely put some uh, fake lashes on if that's your speed. If you're into that kind of thing, it is going to do nothing but favors uh, for this eye look. I'm going to stick with my Maybelline Sky High and do a nice... solid couple of layers you guys know i don't like to bore you and make you watch me put my mascara on but i'm going to do just a teeny tiny coat before we go in and do our highlight just so you guys can get a better feel for the finished look never underestimate the power of a good lash never ever so for our highlight, we're going to go into that first gold shade. And we're just going to take that on just a little brush. I'm going to use my Dew Color brush. This is my uh, Dew Color 12, just a teeny tiny little pencil brush. We're going to put some on the inner corner. Kind of bring that through on the lower lash line a bit. And then we're going to put some up here, tuck it right up underneath our eyebrow. Just like that. Just a teeny tiny little touch just to bring a little bit more light to the situation. Because this is a pretty dark and dramatic 
eye look. And that's it. What do we think? Do I look like a duck? I hope so. Because that was kind of the whole point of uh, this exercise. I am, I'm so in love with it, guys. I think it's so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. So I paired it with just like a juicy, glossy uh, red lip. You could totally put a nude with this too. I think a nude would look just as great as the red lipstick does. Uh, I just use this because it's super, super easy. It's a glossy lip, but it's like almost, well, I have here. I have, I want to show you guys that it's glossy and transfer proof. It's one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks. So it's transfer proof, but it's glossy. It's super, super comfortable. Uh, this is from L'Oreal, I believe. So this is the L'Oreal Paris uh, Glossy Liquid Lipstick. This stuff is fantastic. This is in the shade 314, Be Successful. So, so super comfortable. Really, really easy to wear. and apply. Super comfortable. It lasts all day. This stuff pretty much stays on until you take it off. It is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite uh, liquid lipstick formulas, period, ever, ever to be created. And that is pretty much the end of our look for today. I did it pretty fast. So we're only at 30, uh, 38 minutes and usually I average about 45. If I was to do a whole face, guys, we'd be here for an hour and a half. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please let me know in the comments below if we like this kind of eye look. Do I look like a mandarin duck? Uh, let me know. Uh, rate my uh, interpretation in the comments below. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Hear what you guys have to say about it. I really think it's quite fantastic. I love uh, this new series that I'm doing. I'll be doing a video like this once a week. I almost forgot about it this week. I thought that I was going to do it once a month, but I remember said, remembered saying I was going to do it once a week. So this is this week's look. We're doing the mandarin duck. Guys, I love you so, so much. I know your time is super precious and I'm so grateful that you choose to spend it with me. I hope you guys like this eye look just as much as I do. hope you guys are staying warm and you're snuggled up comfy and cozy drinking hot chocolate and watching your favorite movies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everything I used today will be listed in the description box below. And as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera doing my makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I will, of course, be posting finished pics over on my Facebook page. So the link for that will be in the description box below as well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. Leave me a comment because I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And remember, you're important. Bye.